This week in our Questions Jesus Asked series, we look at Mark 6 and 38. How many loaves do you have? He asked. I love the smell of fresh baked bread, and I can vividly recall as a child watching my mom bake bread. She would take it out of the oven and place it on racks to let cool. I loved the taste of it, especially when it was fresh. I would often eat it while it was still hot. History tells us that bread is one of the oldest prepared foods. It is well known for its nutritional value and also has other historical and contemporary values in many societies. Our question today is taken from a text in Mark's Gospel, often referred to as Jesus Feeds the 5,000. A large crowd had followed Jesus to an area outside town to listen to his teaching. We pick up the story in chapter 6, verse 35. By this time it was late in the day, so his disciples came to him. This is a remote place, they said, and it's already very late. Send the people away so they can go to the surrounding countryside and villages and buy themselves something to eat. But he answered, you give them something to eat. They said to him, that would take eight months of a man's wages. Are we to go and spend that much on bread and give it to them to eat? This prompted Jesus to ask, How many loaves do you have? He then told his disciples to go and see. Obviously the people had not come prepared to stay long, so they brought very little food with them. However, the disciples did find someone with five loaves and two fish. Now there is such a thing as making a meal go a long way. But to think that this meager lunch would satisfy over 5,000 people would be a bit optimistic to say the least. The disciples brought their findings back to Jesus, no doubt thinking he would just have listened to them in the first place and sent the people on their way. One thing everyone learns when they come into contact with Jesus is be prepared to be surprised. The story unfolds in Mark 6, 39-42. Then Jesus directed them to have all the people sit down in groups on the green grass. So they sat down in groups of hundreds and fifties. Taking the five loaves and two fish and looking up to heaven, he gave thanks and broke the loaves. Then he gave them to his disciples to set before the people. He also divided the two fish among them all. They all ate and were satisfied. What did the disciples learn that day? They were once again overwhelmed by the miraculous power of Jesus. Their initial response to his question, how many loaves do you have, was to think certainly not enough. Quickly they would learn that with Jesus there is no such thing as not enough. In time, Jesus would ask his disciples to act on his behalf in spreading the gospel message abroad. It would be a daunting task for a group of men who most would say lack the credentials for such a mission. It would be human nature for them to doubt their ability and ask themselves the question, how much do I have to give? On their own, the answer would be not much. Not much like the five loaves they started out with that day in the field. But now they could draw strength from their past experience with Jesus and remember how we took little and miraculously turned it into something great. He would do the same in the lives of these disciples. In our mission to spread the gospel of Jesus, it is easy for us to question how much we have and conclude it is not enough. The fact is, on our own, we don't have enough. It would be like us taking our five loaves and attempting to feed 5,000. But God never asks us to do it on our own. He simply says, you give me what you have and I will do the rest. The five loaves were only a light lunch for a boy until Jesus touched them and made them a feast for a multitude. It all started when someone gave him the loaves in the first place. It all starts for us when we trust God and give him all we have, as little as we might think that to be. Join us again next week for another question Jesus asked.